first and foremost, giving all praises and all glory to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Akakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders that do rule well at Great Millstone. Peace and salutation to you, Akiyam, out there pushing this gospel and sincerity and truth. Shalom to the humble and sincere sisters out there as well. Coming over this lesson today entitled, Don't Look Back. Alright? Hey, when you look into war, you know? You know, with these military powers and things. Some they teach you, you know, is keep your head down and don't look back. You understand? Because any slight hesitation will result in your death. You know? Hey, and when you take that and you bring it towards this truth, to in this truth, you know, you can't look back. You ought to keep going forward. And you ought to set your, your sights on the kingdom and the paradise of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Right? Yeah, a lot of men that look back, you know, trying to get back that old man. You know, because the, the fight getting harder as it coming down to the last, you know. As our fruit beginning to ripen, it's getting more difficult. And men go trying to go back into the world to, to find, you know, a, a little comfort. Right, but hey, this, these scriptures is, is the comforter. You know, and what we will get to, you know, you'll see with Lot's wife, you know, what take place with she. Right, they ain't supposed to look back on it, it metaphorically, I don't mean look back, you know, phys physically. I'm talking about going back to, to, to get our old man or looking back onto the things that you used to do. And, you know, trying to seek after it once again. Hey, there's a, there's a road going forward, you know, son. It's not no reverse. It's just, it, you're going forward, you're going, you're leading to that mark, right? And I just share this truth is not for everybody because many are called but few are chosen. You know, plenty of men receive this knowledge even, you know, before I woke up in the, in the days of Apostle Taha, you know, and even the brethren that came before me. All maybe could attest, you know, to witnessing men that was hot, you know, men that was doing the works and all these things, but they wasn't sincere, right? They was hiding, eating swine's flesh. You understand? And fall out. Hey, and I like to show you this, this road is is an is a endurance run. It's not a hundred meter sprint. <clears throat> you know, it's not a, 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 I going strong for one month. And then, that is me day I will go back into the world. Right? I go look back and go back into the world because I already do my works. No. Scriptures always talk about that long suffering, you know, and he that endure to the end, the same shall be saved. You understand? Man, if you really think about it, if you run in a race and you look back, it will make you move slower. You understand? If you run in a marathon and you look, you turning around to see who behind you, you automatically begin to move slower. You understand? And even from this perspective, in the back of you have temptation of the things that you used to do in the world. You understand? Some men you say, you know, had a smoking demon on them. Some men had a, had a lust demon, adultery, fornication demon on them. You know, the idolatry demon on them. All these different temptations and you looking back, you causing that temptation to befall you. I am before you know it, I wish I wouldn't be dealing with you no more and you take out the Holy Spirit from you. And you'll be back into the world. Right? Well, how you feel these men that was in the truth? And hey, they're going strong and they're going back into the world. What do you think make them go back into the world? It was looking back. You understand? So let me get into it. Start off in the book of Hebrews. Chapter 10, verse 38. It see, <clears throat> Now the just shall live by faith, but if any man draw back, my soul have no pleasure in him. But we are not of them who draw back unto perdition, 
most of them that believe to the saving of the soul. You understand? So hey, we say at first, you just shall live by faith. You understand? You have faith in his prophecies. You have faith in your Hashem, your Shai, and his word, and his doctrine, his truth. So you're going towards our mark. You're going towards our white stone, our white raiment. You know, all the glory and our immortality, you striving for salvation and to serve your Lord. But you see, but if any man draw back, you understand that why I say it's not, it's not a, a, um, a sprint. It's an endurance run. If any man draw back, right, you, be, you, you begin to become sluggard. You're not, you're not moving diligently. And that is how men just fall into temptation too. If you ain't in this world constantly, you know, and hey, you know, you have to have a balance with everything. You ain't gonna be studying 20, 20 hours in a day to sleep four hours and then repeat, you know. You have to have balance. And you know, you have to recharge your spirit and all these things, you know, and everybody will do this in a different way, you know. Because all of us have different likes and, you know, um, things that we enjoy doing. But it's if any man draw back, my soul have no pleasure in him. So if you, be, you ain't making your videos, you ain't doing your works, you ain't studying, right? You ain't dwelling in the, you ain't dwelling in the spirit. Over up in your flesh, overtake. Right? As this parable is always quote, you are two wolves within your mind. <clears throat> a good wolf, a righteous wolf, and an evil wolf. And the one... Um, the strength of these wolves is determined by how much food each one of them receives and if you feed the unrighteous wicked wolf more than you feed the righteous one he would overthrow him so you need to continue to feed that righteous wolf so that he would be able to rule over and overcome the, 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 the flesh which is the unrighteous wolf you understand? You ain't supposed to draw back. The racing done. You know? The time men that is do something, you know, they might go hard for a certain amount of time and say, I do enough. And just back, you know, and relax. Scripture say, get thee up. This is not your rest. This is not the time to rest. They say, they we ain't even in the kingdom yet. The amount of things that still have happened may even come to pass yet and you re you relaxing. <laughs> the most I don't deal with, with, with lukewarm men. You ought to be hot. It say that my soul have no pleasure in him. Yahweh ain't dealing with you. You know because hey, that sluggard, that sluggard spirit has, you know, has come upon men, even I. Right? You know, you want to make a video, and what happened? There are certain temptations around here. Eh? Some brethren into movies and video games, but you know, YouTube or TikTok, all these, all these, um, not temptations, distractions, right? All these distractions surrounding you. And you'll say, you know, I'll go make the video tomorrow. And then tomorrow, I'll go reach, I'll go make the video Friday, you know? No, I'll go make it on the Sabbath. And you see, you just procrastinating and making up excuses because you don't want to work you want to be a sluggard and this is how these demons just come onto you hey and if like tiktok if you know tiktok make you get addicted and it's stopping you from from being diligent and, and doing your works delete the app same thing with video games get rest. you know Movies, everything, give Gator a break. Cause the word had to come first. Getting this wisdom have to be your main priority. Verse 39, it says, But we are not of them who draw back unto destruction. Because when they draw back, when they look back, what is they going on to? You're going on to destruction. You ain't drawing back onto righteousness. You're going back into the world. You understand? Anything outside of the truth is the world. You understand? You're going back into the world. Because if you ain't grounded in the truth, you understand? Yeah, building, yeah, yeah. Trying to make yourself, you know, wiser. 
And not to say that you making yourself wiser, but you have a shy that is within you, building you up. You understand? But you have to put in the work. And you have to keep the faith. And you have to, you have to, you have to seek after him. You understand? You have to seek after your Bashem, your shy. And if you are doing that, waiting gonna happen. You're gonna go back onto perdition. You're gonna look back. You're gonna look back and see all the things that you used to do. You're gonna look back at the old man. Because you ain't keeping yourself occupied in the, in the spirit. You understand? You're gonna you're gonna look back. And see those temptations and you're gonna give in to it. And the wages of sin is death. But what the scripture says, say glory. Be to Yahweh who give it us the victory through Yahweh Shia Mashiach. But you ain't trying to follow after Yahweh Shia Mashiach. You following after your after the things of of your past, right? Of of that old man. So what I got that gonna give you the defeat. Yeah? You're gonna get the victory. You're gonna get the defeat. Book of Philippians chapter 3 and verse 13. It says, Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai a Mashiach you understand? hey you gotta forget those things which are behind you are hey, when you come into this truth you're a new man you understand? and if you also think about it metaphorically if you also die right? hey with reincarnation when you die, you know, you go back up into the spirit world and you come back down, you're a new person. You're the same spirit, you know. But you wouldn't be who you are in this life, you'd be somebody else. Like Peter and hey, Peter was King David. Even though he reincarnated and he's still King David, he came as Peter. So, he, a new man. <clears throat> and that's how it is in his truth. When you come into this thing, you're a new man. Right? And you're washing away your sins. Scripture says that your old man is nailed on the cross with your Shai. And where your Shai do we die for our sins? So what is your old man? A sinful man. Your old man is a wicked, sinful man. Nobody here was righteous before the truth. Everybody was eating pork or some sort of unclean meat. Everybody was either worshipping Caesar, Bojir, Allah, or Brahma, or whoever that God. Everybody here did, did enjoy the idea of adultery. Because that is rank thing in this, in this society. Nobody, um, men didn't have a problem with going with a, a man wife. Right? Those are the things that, that our old man was fond of the old us was fond of committing iniquity you understand and now that he is a new man you resist you resist this world you become an enemy to this world you understand you're no longer feeding the unrighteous um wolf where you, you focus in the bill in the spirit because you know that where salvation is Verse 14 is here, press toward the mark. You gotta go forward, you understand? Because the mark ain't here, you know? And the mark ain't back there. The mark is forward, you understand? The new heaven and the new earth is, 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 is in the future. You gotta press toward the future. The prize, where's the prize? Glory, honor, immortality, that crown of life. You understand that everlasting kingdom, everlasting joy and salvation. All the great things to come is in the future. So press towards that. It's if where your treasure is there, your heart will also be. If your treasure is in that old man or is in this world, you are going to die. 
it's, an, it's just a matter of time you are going to get put to death. But if your treasures is in heaven, you are going to have everlasting joy and you're going to be rewarded for, the, for your labors because everything else is, is, is vain. You acquiring money is vain because you're going to die. You acquiring wealth, house, car, land, all, all, these, all these things. You understand all these assets. Thing gonna mean nothing. They're gonna get destroyed. You and your, your belongings gonna get destroyed. But it's true. This truth endured forever. This, this is the most. Um, what to pay? They the greatest prized possession. In this world right now, and it's always been that way. The truth is the greatest gift that could be bestowed upon a man. Is greater than any. Any vehicle, any house, any amount of money, any amount of woman. You see, this is the greatest gift given by a Hawaba Shem Yahushai unto his servants. Okay, so, Tawara Yahweh Shem Yahushai, you know, every day, thank the Lord every day that you are a son of the light or a daughter of the light. And you're not in the darkness as these other people are. You know, boy, it's like you have a going off topic, you know, Philippians 3 and 13, brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before, you understand? Reach unto the things that are, that are coming, you understand? Reach unto the things that are before your very eyes. The kingdom is coming. Yahweh Shai is coming. And before that, the famine is coming, destruction is coming, the sword is coming, and we could, you could see it. Like I seen in Trinidad, they say after joy is sorrow. You seeing these people saying peace and safety. You understand? You see, you seeing them. They 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 feeling um glad that you know the school children could the on the ones with all the poison going back out. You know, everybody. Thinking everything going back to normal, you know, just no places open back in all, and they're thinking it's peace and safety. But sudden destruction is going to befall them. You understand? You are reach for those things, focus on those prophecies, focus on the, the joy to come after this destruction. Hey, as I say, focus on this truth. You understand? This is the only thing that will guarantee your salvation. You know, as I was telling a man the other day, I say people does, does want all these things now. You know, you want riches now. You, you want to establish yourself now. And I say you will never, ever find happiness in a place like this. Because Esau is ruler and all Esau knows is death destruction you understand he don't know about, about creation and, and peace and righteousness he saw he know about those things <coughs> and I tell that fella I say you'll never find peace and joy in a place like this so why put your effort into a, 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 a society that is on the verge of destruction when you could put all your works, you understand? Pour all your breath into serving Yahweh Bashim Yahushai in faith and sincerity, all humility, and seek after this truth and receive a joy that will never end. You know? It's a forgetting those things which are behind, reaching forth onto those things which are before, press towards the mark. When you turn around, you'll die. You understand? If you're, if you're falling back. If you want to go back into your looking back and you want to go back into the world. That is death. Your temptations will lead you to death. You understand? Going back and becoming that old man again would lead to your downfall, your destruction. Yeah, and i seen it. Men who, you know, and, and heard about it. Men who left this truth and get put to death you understand men who left this truth 
and it's have a, it's have a certain um psych, not cycle yeah for lack of better words you know all these men that leave this truth they say them preaching the exact same thing the virgin mary all the things that they didn't believe that they did put away from them they back preaching it again the virgin mary the trinity the triune god they, they preach on um, <coughs> in order to keep the law all these men come back with that same agenda that you don't want to go out and preach on the streets you understand you don't want to make no videos you understand and why why you think they they preach you know that madness it's because they, they, they will try to take back the spirit and give them onto strong delusion and they back into the world so you have to be you have to remain focused and diligent you know if you have an exam in school you know they say it's a maths exam you went three months with learning all your formulae right you know them down to a t right you don't even matter open up any worksheet or any you just know them off the top of your head you know to solve any equation any question worded anything right three months you study and then the rest of the year you pick up a book name for a minute by the end of the year you would have forgotten everything you learn you understand and that is the same way with this truth if you ain't grounded in this thing are you not constantly checking yourself and and, and rehearsing the righteous acts and, and praying and fasting and, and long being in a long suffering state and seeking every day after Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, your faith will falter. You will become, you will be, start to become less in tune to the spirit. You will begin to forget the breakdowns. You will begin to forget precepts. You will begin to lose the understanding. And then that is when temptation, Satan will come and, and take you. And Yahushai will allow it. You understand? But I don't even see it and could come and take care. Yeah, wish I, you know, you'd send him and you you want root here. You rip you out the ground. You ain't want that to happen to you. So you have to stay focused, you have to stay diligent. Then you look at first Corinthians chapter nine, it was twenty-four. Let's see Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize? So run that she may obtain. We all running in this race, in this race of life. But one receiveth the prize, you understand? So those, those crowns of life are going to be given to certain men, you understand? So run. Put in the works so you can obtain your crown. So to say, hold fast that no man take thy crown. If you constantly looking back while you're running, you're either gonna be, get slower, you're gonna you're gonna begin to run slower, or you're going to fall down. You understand? If you ain't running and giving it your all each step, you know. You're beginning to feel sorry for yourself and your wavering. You would not finish the race. And by the time you're looking to cross the finish line, Yahweh Shai is here. You understand? Now is the time to rehearse. Because in the kingdom, it ain't gonna have no adversity. This day the adversity here, they the, the, the conflict of this whole movie. You understand? After this is just peace. And joy, you understand. After this is just pure bliss for eternity. So they, this this year is the time to get it right. Cause you ain't gonna be in the kingdom seeking to be a part of the governing body. Everything will already be established. Who is the governing body? Who is you know the rest of the one third? The two thirds coming back in through the through the loins. You understand? It, that is where it's gonna be. Everything gonna be established. Now is the time to get right. 
run that she may obtain do the works that she may obtain the crown of life put in the effort everything in this life um, needs effort power lifting you know we dead lifting your bench pressing you have to put in a certain amount of force to get the weight off the ground to get the weight off of your chest to get the weight over your head you understand if you ain't putting in the necessary force required it would not move and that is the same thing for this truth you can't make a video every two months you can't, you can't do that you can't go out and do the works when you feel like it you can't pray when you feel like it or you know your, your fire will shy when you feel like it you, you look warm you spit you out take away spirit from you and that's always happen if you ain't if you ain't doing the works, you understand? You ain't surrounding yourself. You ain't bathing in the in these waters. You ain't drinking these waters. <laughs> You're going to lose this this spirit. You're gonna lose the Holy Spirit. Okay, if seek and you would find. How are you gonna find anything if you're not seeking? Why are you gonna expect the door to open if you ain't knocking? Seek after your Bashim Yashai. You understand? As I say, many are called, but few are chosen. Plenty men are gonna fall out of this race. Because it's a hard race, it's a real different kind of race. You understand? But as the scriptures say, you have to strive for the truth unto death. The race isn't done yet. You have to strive until you die. Or until Yahweh Shai returns. And once you strive unto, the, unto that end, you will receive the things that the Lord promised. But if you fall, if you fall behind, you understand? The, they said the race is, is, is 5,000 meters or 5K. You only make 2,000 meters and fall down and give up. You know, because we all fall. I just man fall seven times, you know, completion. We all fall. Even when you're in the truth, no matter how long you're, you're going to fall, you fall, you, you know. That like the part I, that your, the goal being refined and being tried. You understand? But if you fall and give up and go in the stands and sit down, you understand? You give up, you're running no more. Yeah, he's not going to receive anything. Your works has been in vain. He that endured to the end, the same shall be saved. Not he that endured to the, the halfway mark. Or he that fall just before the finish line. Or he that do enough, you know. He do enough. He, he run enough. So, he gonna receive salvation. No. He had to endure unto the end. And that's why it's saying many are called, but few are chosen. Because it's only a specific men that had a strength bestowed upon them by Yahweh Shai would, that would be able to run this race and finish it. You know what I mean? Revelation 3 and 11 are close off. Book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse 11. It says, Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. What it is that we have right now? The truth. Right? We had the truth. That's all you have. Even then, you might have a job. by nothing. No, nothing in this world is considered a gift. You understand? A true gift. The only true gift that you could have is this truth. The most valuable thing in all the earth is this word. This light. So you gotta be you gotta hold it fast. Hold that fast which thou hast. Hold it firm. You understand? Endure a second address.
this is First Corinthians chapter 15 verse 58 Therefore my beloved brethren Be ye steadfast, unmovable Always abounding in the work of the Lord For as much as ye know that your labor Is not in vain in the Lord That way it means to, to, to hold it fast Unmovable, grounded Obedient and diligent Abounding in the work You understand? Hold that fast, hey, hold this troop fast, hold his faith, you understand, firm, keep the faith, until the end, you understand, he said that no man take that crown, you ain't want nobody to take that crown from you, hey. we striving for that, you know? we striving to be, we striving for salvation, you know, we striving to serve our Lord, but we also striving to be part of that governing body, and we have faith in the Lord, so we know that He rewards those that, that, that serve Him diligently and seek after Him. Verse 12. Him that overcome it will I make a pillar in the temple of my power, and He shall go no more out. You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna lose this truth. You ain't gonna walk out of this truth anymore. It's eternal, eternal salvation. You understand? And I will write upon him the name of my power and the name of the city of my power, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my power. And I will write upon him my new name. Hey, what are I talking about? <laughs> the scriptures say you put the laws in our inward parts. You understand? We're going to receive those immortal, incorruptible bodies. And with that, we're going to receive an everlasting kingdom. And we're going to be the, the government, you understand, of Yahweh Shai. We're going to be with Yahweh Shai, boy. And I know we all, all the men are really diligently seeking the Lord and, and being hot. You know, we, we, we striving for that. You know, they and with that, I hope this is so much that find. You know, don't look back. Don't turn back. It has nothing there. It's only destruction. Only death in behind you. That old man is dead. The things of this world is dead because it's sin. It's iniquity. And the wages of sin is death. Instead, seek and, and get the victory in Yahweh Shai. Seek and receive salvation in Yahweh Shai. Seek for the things that is before you. You understand? Seek for the, seek in this truth. Giving all praises and all glory unto the Most High. Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Makakodash, Shalom.